This is the tutorial video for the Reface DX Voice Bad Transistor 2. Okay, so let's take a look at overmodulation. First things, let's turn off our pitch modulation depth and our effects. Let's get to the basic tone here. We're also uh, going to go ahead and turn off our modulators and such and get rid of the detuning so we can see our static waves. So this is just operator one and let's hear what that sounds. So you can see we have a lot of feedback, so it's that sawtooth type of wave. Now you have to remember that uh, feedback is a type of modulation, so for this demonstration I'm going to turn it down. So there's our uh, basic sawtooth type of wave here. So now let's turn on our modulator operator 3, and let's turn this down to a normal range. I'm going to turn it down to 70. And look at the way the harmonics move. They're just decreasing in a very linear fashion. This is where FM sort of behaves more like a filter. So let's start turning up our level or modulation index. So now you can see we're getting a brighter waveform with more harmonics. And a little bit more. So now a lot brighter. You're starting to notice a tamper shift. It's starting to get a more pulse character going on. That's because of these uh, harmonics down here moving around a lot. Again, take it up some more. You can hear a lot more pulse wave type character. So again, you're going to see a lot more motion in the uh, lower harmonics here. And you'll see that the upper ones are starting to dance around a little bit. Let's take it up some more. So now that the modulation level is up really high, you can really see those harmonics moving around a lot. Look at how those lower harmonics really dancing around now. Okay, we're going to bring up the level even more. And now you can see we really got a lot of motion in the harmonics now because of the overmodulation. We've really lost all the linear character that we saw at the levels below 80. So finally, we're going to take it all the way up. Okay, so let's set this back down on our modulator. Let's turn our feedback back up to its original value, uh, 110 here. Uh, this is what we have in our sound. Now remember that feedback is a type of modulation. So that quirky FM math is going to really change the way our harmonics behave. So let's start bringing up our level again. And you're going to notice now we have so much more motion in the harmonics now that we have the feedback up high on OP1 we start bringing up our modulator levels. Let's go ahead and bring it up some more. And now look at all that motion in the harmonics. See all the various groups going up and down in amplitude. And of course the higher we bring the modulation level up, the more variation we're going to have. Okay, so now we're going to turn off OP1, turn on OP2, and go over this all for the OP2 and 3 interaction. So here's our operator 2 on its own. Again, our sawtooth waves, waveform. These are the two of them together. We have them tuned in fourths. That's the 2.0 to 1.5 ratio. Okay, so we'll turn on our OP3. So now we hear the modulator effect of OP3 modulating OP2. Let's start bringing up the level. So you see our brightness, got more high harmonics. So let's keep bringing it up to higher modulation levels. And you can see how much more bright the wave's getting. 
and again you're going to see how much more harmonic motion we're getting in our sound. We'll bring up the modulation level to 120 again. So now we've got all this overmodulation causing all that fun and complex harmonic motion in our sound. So let's start back low and bring in ops 1 and 2 together. And again, let's start bringing up our modulation level. Again, let's bring it up some more. Okay, now we're going to put it back to our original level of 110. Look at all the motion of those harmonics as the envelopes change over time. Play a low velocity here. Remember what the envelopes are doing is they're changing our modulation level in real time. Now let's turn on operator 4, which is our final modulator. You'll see I have it set at a ratio of 1.75, which is the interval of a seventh. So you see here, operator 4 is a stacked modulator behind operator 3. We have the square type feedback set to 80, so op 4 is stacked behind op 3, making that a complex wave combination. So let's go ahead and off op 4's level, and we're going to start gradually bringing it in here. So this is our wave without it. Because of that 7th interval tuning, this is really creating a lot of subharmonics that sound like distortion. Let's play up and down the range a little, down low. And this is up high. So let's go ahead and turn off op 4. So now you're hearing the high register without all the uh, harmonics from op 4. Turn that back on now. So now you hear all that distortion quality. Again, just because we're getting subharmonics generated with that 7th interval tuning of our 1.75. So there you have a demonstration of FM overmodulation.